Good morning, everyone. So, I'm just driving back from dropping my kids off at school. I am... Um, I'm possibly closing my mall cart. I still... It's not performing how I want it to, and... I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm, I'm at the end of the road. So, I'm just... If that's the Lord closing the door, then he's closing the door, and we'll figure it out from there, you know? He'll open another one, so I'm at peace with the decision. I don't fully know. I just sent an email this morning, so I don't fully know what's happening. I just have to wait on the Lord and watch everything unfold um, and see what happens. I, I'm definitely defeated and tired and just over it but you know it is all in God's timing um I have been having some crazy dreams though I used to not remember now I'm like excited to like go to sleep you know like okay this is my quiet time I have very little quiet time during the day between kids and everything else like it's it's very hard to just have like Go, my secret place and sit there quietly and just talk to the talk to God but when I'm sleeping or when I'm resting and everybody's asleep and the house is quiet that's the best time you know for me so I I like to just sit and meditate and just listen and try to hear what's being said um there's been a whole lot of in my mind and the enemy and everything lately like I, I don't hear a whole lot but I'd be getting dreams but like where they seem random to me I still don't I don't understand I don't understand or why I'm even dreaming about the things that I'm dreaming about like it doesn't it doesn't like last night's dream I woke up at like 1 30 this morning to just kind of and I wrote it down but it was like about at the mall there's you know the carts you could go along and there's a bunch of different vendors and stuff like that um there and there's one guy that's been there since for years and he was friendly he introduced himself but I never got like the the good vibes you know like he he, he, he doesn't give me like the heebie-jeebies he just never like like he's a snake you know like to me something's wrong but even there was an incident with my stepdaughter who actually run, helps me run the cart, like when she gets out of school and stuff. And there was an incident and somehow he got the video of the incident on his phone sent to him by the p other people that were involved in the mall and happened to know. And he comes over and he sent me the video. Like, you know, like I, and then he's always like, oh, well, you got to do this and you got to do that, which is fine. There's a difference between being supportive and sneaky, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't, we just never really vibed. And he's a, and he's a, he's a black man. Um, so I like my dream last night was, um, go sorry my dream last night was about him and I was like I just asked the Lord before all this I had asked the Lord to kind of just like show me like because I'm tired of listening to everybody else and hearing this and everybody else is having dreams about what they're going to be doing in their grand life and I don't have that I was like I we need to get to the point where I, I just want to come to you I don't want to ask and look and wonder and question everything I just want to come to you Lord like that's it but so for the last month or two, I've now been just having just dreams that I have no interpretation for. And so I was like, I need you to show me. Like, I just couldn't put my finger on what's wrong with this man. You know, he seems nice enough. Like, he seems like he has your best interest but in mind. But really, like, something would never let me just like, okay, yeah, he's great, you know. I mean, it's neither here nor there. He does what he does. I do what I do. I stay on my side. He stays in his lane. That's it. But something was wrong. So last night, the dream I had was about him. And it was like, apparently we're in like a relationship or something. And we had this like stuffed polka dot bear 
that sometimes was alive, like a baby alive. <laughs> and it turned into like we we're putting it in our pockets and stuff and that's how we carried it around but when it is in the pockets it was I don't know you know I and of course you know you don't remember the whole entire thing but I remember a pretty good amount so and what we were at my my all my dreams are in I grew up in upstate New York and I was the town that I was born in was where my great grandmother I used to spend a lot of time with her and at her house all my dreams are in the setting of her house or my grandmother's house my dad's mom who is still he's still alive my great grandmother has passed away but my great my grandma is still alive and or the dreams are at her house I've only had one at her house every setting of my dream are in this town and Goshen I was born in the town of Goshen and Goshen is in the Bible um, but that is the setting for almost every single one of my dreams. There's never a present dream or like, or it'll be present people in my life, but in that setting. And I'm just like, what are you trying to tell me? And so I, um, anyway, the dream was about him and we were there at my great grandma's house and somehow my sister was there. I don't remember this part. Like usually when you start talking about it, you can remember but I don't remember. My sister was there. I just wrote it down. My sister was there and she had her headphones on. Every single time I had a child, <laughs> my sister came. But my very first, my son, I had, when I had him, my sister and my mom were there. And my sister just laid on the bed, you know, the bed in the visiting room. And she had her head headphones on and she was not looking at nothing. My mom's all up in my business. My sister was not about it. She was like, I'll just hold the baby when he's here. <laughs> she was not about it. But so in this dream, she was sitting there, laying there or something like on the bed and she had her headphones and even the doctor was like, who is this? <laughs> I was like, that's auntie. <laughs> but she, um, she, she was just there. She didn't say anything. She didn't do anything just there and so some for some reason we got into some argument and all I remember was that I had my other kids were there and they were opening the window and had the blanket you know so they could get down at my great grandma's house they had so they could climb down I was like just climb down I was like I can catch one let me get out first I can catch one and then the other one will just climb down and I'll be there to catch them <laughs> no idea and so but all I remember before this he was just like running around the house and he like scratched himself and he was like but I hadn't seen his face yet guys I hadn't seen his face and so I just knew it was a black guy in this in the video in the in the dream and so he like was running around he scratched he's like I'm the victim you raped me and blah like he was saying that I raped him and I was like I hadn't even touched you and there was no there was no sexual anything in this dream there was it was none of that he was just running around he was like you raped me you I'm the victim I'm gonna call the police and blah 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 and I was like what are you talking about I was like I didn't even touch you and he like scratched himself and he was like trying to show me his neck like you see see you raped me you raped me but I and it was just a horrible horrible situation right so I was just like okay and then so I remember I kind of like woke up but didn't wake up and like in the dream I was like Lord who is this man and and then it kind of came out first it kind of came out like this man is an abuser he's an abuser he is abusing the people the females or whatever that's in life because there's more than one he's abusing the females in his life and in this way like very angry very hot-headed you know put on a smile for the masses but behind closed doors he's I don't want to say evil but he's mean and so I was like or he's aggressive we'll say he's aggressive because like I said he's he's never been mean he just something about him and so I was like but lord who is this I was like, I don't understand what is this. And then, like, all of a sudden, I'm like, in my, uh, I, I, like, something comes up to your face, and it was his face. And I was like, okay. So then from there, that's when I kind of woke up. 
I mean, I'm sure a couple other things happened. I wrote it down, but I don't know. I'm not looking at it at the moment I'm driving. So I was like, okay. But I was like, why, though? Is that because I needed to know? Like, and I see him when he's working. Like, most of the time, he'll, what he stops is females. But, I mean, he's not selective when it comes to that. Money is money at this point in time. Um, but he's always, like, talking and flirty. I don't know his situation. I don't know if he's married or if he has a girlfriend. or I, I know none of that. I know none of that and that's not my business or my place so but all I know is that we we never vibed and now we're no longer going to vibe <laughs> but it, it's just crazy and I'm like I was just like thank you Jesus for showing me that but I mean as far as I don't know what that does for my situation you know like that's great that I finally got some clarity in a dream because I mean I've had at least 20 dreams that I have no idea, but they're all in that setting. The, the dream before Halloween was at my great grandma's house as well, but it was like in the street because I had friends there and stuff like we would chill and we would go to the park and like my grandpa, which was her son, used to live down the street and we actually used to live in that house down there. And so like my best friend started out on this street. And so every time I was there, um, we would always play and hang out and all around. So I remember I was in in the dream. It was right before Halloween. And, you know, I was struggling with the don't celebrate Halloween, blah, 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 which we did not. I did let them dress up because I kind of sprung it on them, I know, a little slightly less obedient than I was intending on being. But I did let them dress up just for school then they ended up taking it off and and we went to eat we just went to have dinner we didn't trick-or-treat we didn't do anything so I didn't de I never decorate for Halloween that's not my holiday and so I um but right before that I had a dream where my great because my great grandma passed away and my aunt and my uncle live in her house now they were always there before but when she passed away they like took over the entire house and of course in New York you have like a basement but the basement's like the kitchen and then there's three levels to this house and then they were living upstairs and like where the attic portion should be but there's like two three rooms in there you know those old school old style houses where they had foster children you know there's so much space and so many like secret passageways and stuff like there's a closet that leads through the leads through to another closet in a whole different room like it's wild I used to have so much fun in this house and so and so I like oh that kind of I actually have never thought about the closet that leads to the closet that that was just like a revelation I'm not sure why God's telling me like that means something because I'm supposed to be there. I don't know that I'm supposed, I don't know if I'm supposed to be there or if he's closing the door because I am supposed to be there. I don't, with my mall car, I don't really know. I, I don't really know. I don't really know guys. This is just my revelation. But anyway, my dream was that I was, I was on the outside and I remember I was high up in the air. But I wasn't necessarily in a building. I might have been in a building looking out of a window, but I don't, there's no building there. You know what I mean? Like where I'm across the street, I feel like I was just like floating up in the air. And it looked, excuse me, the house looked a little bit different. So on the bottom level, which should be the basement, is the the kitchen and the dining room and the laundry room and all that other stuff. So that's where my aunt was in this window and she was decorating for Halloween, like candles and orange and black and all kinds of stuff like that. And I don't know these people to be the, that festive. Like they're not, they don't do that. I don't, they don't have any children. They don't have nothing. Like they're just my aunt and my uncle. And so they were, um, and I could see my uncle kind of like walking back and forth down this hallway, but really it's not a hallway. It's like a window and like a, a little hallway and then there's the stairs leading up. But it was like a long, very well lit hallway and I could just see him walking. And so, and I'm sitting, and I'm sitting above them and looking in this window down here. There was no curtains, no nothing. And I could see that that's what they were doing. And so I seen her look up at me. She could see me though, because she looked up at me. My aunt looked up at me and she was like, and started waving and I and I just kind of like waved back and I was like they can see me they can see me like what's happening and so she was like 
And so I saw my uncle come back and he was like, oh, who are you, who are you waving at? And she was like, oh, Sharice is up there. And I'm like, okay. And then I kind of just woke up, but I was like, Lord, what is that? And why am I in such a high place looking down below? And my mom always told me that my, my great grandma, when she was alive, well, like they, they were really close. Like we were really close to, with her and she, um, got mad at my uncle one time. And she was like, I got to go somewhere. And she didn't tell my mom where she was going. But my mom always said, she was like, I think, because he was already originally ever, always supposed to get the house. Okay. And I don't think that, I think she changed her will. And my mom says that she thinks she left that house to me. But, but, um, she doesn't know for sure, for sure, because they still got it. And they changed it. But my grandma, my grandma, my dad's mom ended up taking care of my great grandma when she became really sick. She had like Alzheimer's and stuff like that. But she came really sick, but she stayed in the house until the day that she died. Um, but my grandma would take care of her. I came and I sat with her for a little bit. I had moved back to New York for a little while and I sat with her and then they were there. My aunt and my uncle were also there and they were helping taking care of her as well. So she always had, she was able to stay in her home. But with my grandma being power of attorney in her affairs, of course, she's going to look out for her children. And my mom believes that my grandma changed or figured out how to switch up the will to where I was no longer going to get the house, that my uncle was going to get the house. When my, my great grandma had declared that the, that they were not to have her house because she didn't appreciate something that he was doing or something like that. So now here we are. I'm like, I don't know if that's what this is telling me or what. All I know is that all my dreams are centered around this house in this area. And I, I don't know. So waiting on further confirmation. I'm going to let you guys go. This is a longer video. I'm sorry. But I'm just kind of all over the place. I don't even know anymore. I'm just waiting on confirmation. We'll let you know how it plays out. Hi to my three subscribers. Thank you guys. Hi. All right. I love you bunches. Have a blessed day.